Yes, viewers, it is time for testimony. Right here and now we have people who came to the New Light Covenant Ministry and happened to encounter God's servant Apostle Masecha team and their story has never remained the same. They are here in our midst to testify for what God has done in, our, in their lives. Listen with a prayerful heart. Your own testimony is not far from now. It's like you are not ready for that testimony. I say your own testimony is not far from now. The testimony of your family is not far from now. If you believe God, give God a shout. And it shall be permanent upon your life in Jesus' name. Yes, madam, you're welcome to the New Light Covenant Ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. Can you please tell us your name, where you come from, and what is your beautiful testimony? The Lord is our shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. My name is Agnes Veluma Ewoke. I'm from Tiku. What brought me here is to give the testimony of what happened to me last Sunday. Last Sunday, I was in church and we were blessed by our father, Apostle Marcel. He came to the crowd and was praying for us. At the process, I realized he was praying for me more than five times. But I didn't know what was happening in the spirit realm. He prayed for me and I went home after the church closed. When I reached home, I took it like normal service that I've gone and received from God. But I didn't know God was using him to fight a battle for me in the spirit realm. On Friday, I was at the job site. I never knew what happened with me. I realized myself is an ambulance with drips in my body. And when we entered the cottage hospital, the whole place was crowded. And when I regained conscience, I didn't know what happened. I was asking, and they told me that I passed out and I was not even breathing. I'm still in the hospital up to now, but I said, I cannot stay in the hospital without coming to give this testimony for what God has done to me in this ministry. Put your hands together for Master Jesus Christ. It's like you didn't just get what she said. She said last week, as a man of God was moving inside the crowd, led by the Holy Spirit praying for people. She said the man of God woke up to her more than five times and prayed for her. She said she didn't know what the man of God was up to. She only believed that in the realm of the spirit, the man of God was fighting battles for her. People of God, she is here before us and telling us that on Friday, she, she did not know what happened to her. She, she only found herself in the hospital and they told her that she was being carried by ambulance to the hospital. And they were giving her drips. They were crowded all over her and she don't know, she did not actually know what happened to her and she said she woke up from that hospital bed she realized that it was because of the man of god apostle master chatim's prayer on sunday that was fighting the battles for her people of god she is also telling us that she realized that she has she was already she was already given up as they told her but with the man of god's prayers on sunday the battle was fought and she said she could not keep this testimony for herself that is the reason why she has to run from the hospital even with candles on her hands to come and testify for what god almighty has done in her life are we jealous of her testimony are we just are we just watching let us give god a crazy shout You can see my hands. I'm still with candles. I'm, I'm still on the hospital bed. I decided to come and thank God for this wonderful thing that he has done to me through our Apostle Marcel Chati. People of God, you can do it more better for the God of Apostle Marcel Chati. Give God a mighty shout! So, madam, with what God Almighty has done for you, what advice do you have for viewers, those who are seated here today, 
I mean, some are here. The man of God will be praying for them. And some don't even know what the man of God is praying for them for. What advice do you have for them and those who are seated here today? My advice goes like this. When you're in the presence of God, don't doubt. Believe. You might come here that the man of God must touch you or give you a perfective word. I just want to advise us that we should believe. Open your mind and believe. In any media, God can use the man of God to reach onto your problem. Yes, Ma, with what God Almighty has done for you, what promise do you have for God for what he has done for you? What money could not do, friends could not do, families could not do. What promise do you have for God? I promise to serve God with my family all the rest of our lives. And we pray it shall be permanent upon your life in Jesus' name. Yes, people of God. Thousands of people are here to testify for what God has done in their lives. What are we to do as viewers? It is for us to key into this testimony so we can also testify. If you are ready for a testimony, just listen with a prayerful heart. Your own testimony will come today in Jesus' name. Amen. Madam, you are welcome to the New Light Covenant Ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. Can you please tell us your name, where you come from, and what is your beautiful testimony? People of God, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is our shepherd. My names are Regina Daniel. I want my testimony goes like this. On the 18th of August, I was here with my late brother's son. When he called me and see, I am not sound. I said, ah, what has happened? He said that from here to the toes, he is not feeling fine. I said, as you went to church, he said, no. I said, okay. Oh. I don't have other God more than Jesus. I will take you to Nelcom TV. I came here with, a, with, with this problem, not mine. But unfortunately, the, the man of God looked at me. He walked up to me and said, Madam, you are seeing dead people in the dream. And they are pursuing me that if he don't pray for me, that when they feed me, my life will go away. I said, my man of God, the prophecy is 100% true. Since that day when the man of God prayed for me, I went home. I'm not seeing that dead people again. I was seeing them for five, for the five, five years. But seeing the man of God prayed for me, to today I'm sleeping like a baby. I'm not seeing them again. When I get up in the morning, the whole of my body was is spinning. I could not do nothing. I could not turn up until I take drugs. But seeing the man of God, Masai Chashim, prayed for me. Since that day, I'm not seeing those dead people again in Jesus' name. People of God say, just a touch. Just a touch. My cares will be set to. I am free. My family is free. If you believe that, give God a shout. And it shall be permanent upon your life in Jesus name my word of advice to the viewers and those who are here when you have problem don't go to Marabu don't go to the sea run to Jesus is the solution of our problem in Jesus name so with what God Almighty has done for you what is your promise unto God I will serve the Lord to the rest of my life and my family in Jesus name and we pray it shall be permanent upon your life in Jesus' name. So, madam, you're welcome to the New Light Covenant Ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, can you tell us your name, where you're coming from, and what is your beautiful testimony? The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Yes, my name is Hannah Evelyn. I'm coming from Douala. I want to share my beautiful testimony through the Nelcom TV. Yes, I have problem 
I did not know that it was spiritual. I, my leg was paining me and I had back pain. I have series of problems, spiritual husband, eating in the dream, dog biting me, all those things. But when I come encounter with the Nelcom TV, my story changed. Yes, I, I, I was watching Emmanuel TV. That was my channel that I was using to pray with. But just of a sudden, the Emmanuel TV just disappeared on my screen. Next come now, Nelcom TV. And the same connection, the way I was feeling when I was praying with uh, the Emmanuel TV is the same. So I just connected. I searched, I searched for Emmanuel TV. I cannot find I said, okay, it's like God wanted me to connect with Nelcom. And I connected with faith. I always pray with them. Not like I am praying in my house, watching the TV. I am praying like I am inside the church. With everything. So when the prayers always go on, I connect. When I'm connected, the first time I connected and I started vomiting. I disconnect myself to go and look for a bucket so since i discovered that whenever i pray with nelcom tv something must happen so this time around i put i always bring my bucket beside me i just place it there anointing never goes old it is the same even if it is for the 10 years program connect by faith something new will happen in your life i had pain on my leg they prophesied to me that I should pray this my left leg is having a problem but i did not know i had pain and i thought i was muzzle cram at time when i walk a bit i would discover that the leg is like leaving me dying it is not really active like the right leg so as the man of god in limbe told me that i should pray for this leg so I keep on praying, but I did not know what was coming. I discovered that the, the pain started climbing until it affected my waist. So, as I keep on praying with the Nelcom TV, at times I would take my this leg, I place on the screen. I continue praying like that. I had a, a vision when I have an encounter with the man of God, Prophet Marcel. I've never been in this church, but I came here in spirit. I, I was outside there with an evangelist. He was talking to me, discussing with me, advising me. Then he told me that after that, I will go and see the man of God. So we, I just stood outside there. But I was seeing the man of God discussing with people inside in a, in a room. I did not know. So after that, uh, they usher us in. So after that uh, discussion with the evangelist, we went in to meet the man of God. And I was praying for with the man of God. He took his leg and just touched this my left knee. Because he did not know me. I've never explained anything to him. I was like, how does the man know that I have a problem here? He touched me and he touched my lips. I wake up. As I wake up now, I discovered that I am fine. I cannot explain how I was feeling with this leg. I don't, I don't even imagine it again. I was like... I say, God, thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for healing me. People of God, put your hands together for Master Jesus Christ. Mm. I say, I cannot explain the way I was feeling again. Because if I said this to somebody, you would think that maybe I was lying. So I was like, ah, is this how God does his thing? I was so happy, so light. Even those bad dreams, I I cannot see them those gym again. I met with one man inside the, the uh, one room like that. That's pretty so because he has like almost 20 faces. Today you come in this form, another day he come in a different form. So we were in that room now. I had my back. The man sat down and he's bent his head down. Immediately he took my back and fling it outside. He said, Leave this place, you are mine. Go. And he the one that left, oh, he divorced me. He the one that divorced me because I was no longer his instrument that he was using again. Mm. Ah, people of God. I said, dogs biting me, cows chasing me. I've seen a lot. 
a lot. Rejection. People, as my, my opinion never counts where people are talking. But they are, my opinion is the right one, but they will reject it. And after everything, they, they will still come back to my point. So those, that thing really destroy my life. Financially, backwardness, in short, nothing works for me. But I thank God that after this encounter with the man of God, they don't have any place. They don't see, no longer see me. They Glory don't see me. Put your hands together for Master Jesus Christ. Say, neighbor, this is what our God can do. He will do it for you today. Say, neighbor, he will do it for you today. If you believe that, can you put your hands together for Master Jesus Christ? Hmm. Brethren in Christ, don't reject anyone in account of his weakness. We are one, or one another's keeper. I always watch Necom and I thank God for the men that are supporting their wife in time of this type of situation. Because many have divorced their wife. Not knowing that they don't know that Satan attack good things. Satan will never come where there is no love. He will always come where he will destroy. So my advice goes like this. Seek God in everything. Everybody need deliverance. Be you a child, the mother, the father, the husband, everybody need deliverance. So if you are passing through any situation, don't run to God. Don't run from God. Run to God and your problem will be over in the mighty name of Jesus. So mama, please, what is your promise to master Jesus Christ for what he has done for you? I promise that I will serve him for the rest of my life, my family, everything that has to do with me we will serve our living God because he is the author and the finisher of our life. Indeed, the Lord will give you the grace to do so in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please, church, can we put our hands again as we celebrate God of Apostle Masecha team for what he has done in the life of this species. Please, can you put your hands better for Jesus? Okay. You listen to that. What did I say there? It's just one word. And I say, please, we will listen to her. This means I know a lot more than the manifestation that you see in, on the screen there. Are you with me? It means I know a lot. If I don't know, I will not say we will listen to her. There are many of you that I pray for you. I don't want allow you to come back here and talk because of time there are many many testimony but i take what i think people need to learn i say we'll listen to her which means it's a case study but look at how little the little girl is amen so please let's listen to her and learn mm -hmm. parents please listen attentively to the lady thank you please can you go ahead The Lord is our shepherd. Um, my name is Kiki Hilda from Limbe, and the person beside me is my mother. Well, I want to thank God so much for his deliverance in my life and in the life of my family. The problem that brought us here was this spiritual attacks, nightmares. So it all started in 2020, late 2020, entering 2021 when i was part, i was going through social media and i there is this group i saw the a club and i thought it was something like a business organization something for business so i was interested in it and i had the contact of the person who is in charge of that organization i was chatting with her on whatsapp and she said there are rules and regulations and there are process in which you can you can involve in the organization so i said i'm interested and 
She said there are three processes. The first step is that you have to send your location, your age, and your full picture. Then there's an, an amount of 10,000 notes. Okay, then the person said for you to join that particular group you saw on Facebook. You have to send your location, your picture. And your age. Your age. Yes. And 10,000 francs. Yes. Okay, continue. And she said the second process is that you have to say forward ever, backward never. Okay, you have to say what? Forward ever, backward never. Forward ever. Backward never. Backward never. Yes. Okay, you know this, this one is an oath, right? That's an oath. After you fulfill the conditions, you have to say forward, ever, backward. Okay. Let's continue. And the third process is that you have to receive a form from the headquarters in Yaoundé. And you have to give your half card to make the membership card. To, that is to ensure that you are a full member of the organization. So I, I did the first two. And I never finished the last process. Okay, you started registering. You, f you fulfilled the first two conditions. Yes. But you never finished the last one. Yes. Okay, continue. So, the last one, I never finished it because I never had in contact, contact with, the, with, the, with the big person, with the boss lady. So, it ended there. I wrote the GCE in 2021 ordinary levels and I filled the exam and I repeated in 2022 and it was so tough. I was a grammar student. I did I did act. So I passed the ordinary levels 2022 with the help of my mom and her prayers. So when I left from five grammar, I diverted to a commercial school specifically under accounting so it was kind of really tough for me because i started hearing stand closer to your mother don't run away from her good continue i started hearing voices i started seeing spirits i started seeing myself under the water i started having nightmares and masquerade following me playing with snakes in a dream so it affected me so much in the sense that even my music life, my singing life, I never had that urge again to sing, nor to play, because I usually play keyboard. So as I never had that urge, I left everything and I entered lower seat drum, uh, commercial accounting. Instead for me to be more hardworking since it was it's something new to me i joined a bad gang of girls that were so brutal and very they call hot girls they call what hot 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 girls hot girls hot hit like h-o-t yes. like a pot that they cook fire and it's hot <laughs> yes man of god how old are you i'm 19. okay yes. you are 19. Yes, you join hot girls Yes, my uncle. Let's continue. Maybe we'll get to hot women. Uh huh. So I was with them. I became so brutal and I was so notorious in school. By and all students and teachers knew the kind of lifestyle I was living. So, although I passed all the three semesters, I passed since as was still new. I entered. When I entered the lower seat, I started going out. Come to, when I'm going to school, I'll branch and go to boys' house, follow friends and. Okay, you will tell Pa that you are going to school, or your yes, mother. Yes, yes my lord. When you leave now, you will branch and go and meet boys. Yes, my lord. Don't be ashamed. You are saving your life. I am saving many people. You will branch and go and meet boys. Yes, my lord. You people will be hot. <laughs> okay. Continue. So the lower seat ended and I entered upper seat and that, without that spirit made I had to eat my school fees. You eat the, you ate your school fees? Yes, man of God. Okay. 
as I ate my school fee, I, I was hiding it from my mother, let her not notice. And after some time, she noticed and she said I would not go to school because she was angry. So it made, I was, I was, I regretted why I had those friends and it, it, it was disturbing me. Okay, can I ask you a question? You said you, you joined a club and this club, what was your, what was the assignment? What's, what's the mission as a member of that club? Man of God, actually, is to have power and to be independent. Which kind of power? Power to kill or power to save people? No, it's actually it's the power to destroy people. And okay, okay, power to destroy people. Yes. Man Can you God. tell me how how do they carry out destruction of people in that in that kingdom? Or do you have an experience in that, whether in the dream or in the real life? As for man of God, I don't really know because I was not fully a member there because okay. I never finished the process. Okay. So there was nothing that they take you in the dream and you see yourself doing? No, I have not actually. But I just, I usually see them. I'm the only one who see them and I hear their voices and I usually know, I know when they are around. Okay, when they are around you, you know? Yes, man of God. Is it when you are sleeping? Even physically, even when I'm going to school or anything, even when I'm doing anything. They will be around you? Yes. So they are like spirits? Yes, man of God. Okay, continue. So when I entered Upper Seed, I ate, the spirit made I ate my school fee. And as I stayed home for about two months before I went back to school, still yet, the thing made I had this urge. I had a dream one time that I was in the forest with the three of us, three girls, and where a lady appeared and she asked us to to kill someone and use his blood for to empower ourselves to drink and to throw our body. So in the dream, we killed the person and we did what the lady said. And she asked us to enter a water. When we entered the water, the two girls left, came out from the water and I was the only one inside. I, before I woke up from the dream, I explained it in the house, but nothing happened nah, there was nothing it, it just ended like that so in that dream they say you should kill somebody and drink blood yes man of god it was uh, a native doctor precisely. okay they say people should kill a native doctor in the in the dream yes man of god. and drink the blood to reinforce yourselves yes man of god you people kill the person yes man of god and drank the blood yes, man of god. which means blood has something to do with your kingdom yes, that king, man of which god. means that kingdom has a connection with blood yes man of god can you tell us what is the connection between blood and that kingdom Actually, I had grown like the rank in which I was, I had grown in a certain level in which I had the blood bank. I had the blood bank spiritually. That means if I cannot get blood physically, spiritually, I can go to the blood bank and get it. So I could change myself. Because if I don't drink blood, human blood, I will become weak. I will have severe headache and so i must drink the blood to strengthen myself okay it's human it's not blood of god no man of god it's human blood yes man of god you get it spiritually yes man of god so there is a blood bank i have a blood bank okay you have a blood bank yes i, I where, had a blood bank okay you had a blood bank yes man of god where they put reserve blood there yes man of god so if you don't drink the blood you become weak Yes, man of God. So you need to drink it spiritually to strengthen yourself. Yes, man of God. That was before. Yes, man of God. Okay. So that is how everything happened. And suddenly I started seeing those girls from that club. They when one time I was coming back from school, I met one. She called me and she was asking the direction of, of a place. I directed her. She told me to enter the car. I was I entered the car and she was telling me about the the club again. So I was like, yes, I've heard about it, but I'm not interested. Because it was later on I noticed it was a cult. Okay, you discovered after that it was a cult. Yes, man. Okay. You always saw it on social media. You yes. thought it was a business gang. Yes, man. Okay. Later on you discovered that it's a cult. Yes, man. Okay. okay. The, 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 this cult, where is it located? 
Actually, there are different branches. There's, there are, there's, there, there, there's another one in Limbe. There are some in Boya. There are some in Cam there's a Cameroon one and there's Limbe. There's okay, Boya. there's Limbe branch. Yes, ma'am. There's Boya branch. Yes, ma'am. Well, there's Cameroon worldwide. Cameroon as a nation. Okay. Something cannot go like this without Boya. Let's continue. So that is how I I was operating. So things became tight when I refused to finish the process and the girls the girls told me that if I don't finish the process they are going to make my life miserable especially my education that they will make sure that I will not be what I'm supposed to be in the future so mm -hmm. I was afraid so much afraid and I could not I could not expose it because one of the rules is that you must not expose the group because if you expose the group they might kill you okay we are here today we'll expose them let me see how they will kill you continue so and another way of getting blood is let me see yeah we have forces that from other countries that come together when the blood bank is dry we come together then we make like severe accident and when there is blood everywhere we have signal in the blood bank so we are always the first people to go there collect what our own blood that we, will be okay for us then take it to the blood bank so that it will solve so that if you're weak you can go there and strengthen yourself okay so when an accident is to occur somewhere other other forces they come together they cause an accident yes man of god so when they cause the accident now you people receive signals from the blood bank that an elephant has fallen somewhere yes man of god go and carry blood yes man you people now start running there yes man of god everybody carry the quantity they can carry yes man of god so this accidents is it for believers or unbelievers, how do you get these people? How do not you? How do they get it? Actually, do they have the particular cars or vehicles they choose? Actually, if they notice that there is a car that does not have believers inside, so they cause the car to have an accident that there will be so much blood, so that all the forces can get as much as they can, so that even if they get, they will have another one to sustain them okay you people are, are making blood it's just like the oil you used to cook that's what they're talking about you cannot cook vegetable and there's no oil it will not taste well that's their own oil from the kingdom which means when you want to move around you have to pray you have to always cover yourself with the blood of jesus to fight against this other blood which means you are children this is 19 years it's your daughter you send them to school you don't pray you come to church they don't follow you to church when you call them to come to church they said your time has passed now is their time look at what their time is doing today this is the mother I, I believe the mother is hearing things here today for the first time you are hearing some things for the first yes, time yes man of God. for the first time yes but you give birth to this child yes the children you give birth to you don't know them she's shocked i'm seeing her she's holding her, her, her body you, you give birth to your grandmother uh -huh. Continue. And also, there is another court that I was in. It's actually they call it Dorobuchi. It's something like they call it what? Dorobuchi. Dorobuchi. Dorobuchi is. Okay. It's, it's another. A, it's another. It's another court. Yes, man of God. Ah, ah. All over you. Tell us about that one. Actually, it's a it's a song that this, that these world musicians they sing. Many people sing the song, but they don't know what they are singing from. They don't know the wordings of that song of birth. What they are singing, they are uh, singing. Why is everybody crying? You people are singing the song. You are singing it instead of singing gospel. You are singing monopoly. 
Bolo bullshit. Ah ah. <laughs> Before you continue, listen to me. Listen to me. Uh, there are many, 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 many people that are unequally yoked into melodies. You, 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 you enjoy melody. You don't even know what the meaning of the song is. What you are enjoying is what? What? That's why the melody of your life is just zigzag. Zigzag. You just hear the song, you say the song is killing you. Look at what you say. You say the people sing it, but they don't know the meaning. Okay, let us hear from her. When people sing it and they don't know the meaning, what is happening? If a believer sings a song, his or her spiritual life starts dying down. So and if when you go when you go up to the throw away bolobuchi. <laughs> This girl has exposed you. So you come to church, you see, go home and sing Bolobuchi. <laughs> uh huh. If a believer sings, his or her spiritual life dies down. And if an unbeliever sings it, continue. His or her life will be very frustrated. And also, this Dorobuchi is a name of a god that they are worshipping. But people think it's just a normal name, but it's the name of a god. So, and the function of that Dorobuchi is, is about lust and money. Continue, please. I was correcting something there. The function, the, the, that court functions in the aspect of lust and money. Like... You can sleep with somebody. You don't sleep with any kind of person. Someone who has money. And when you sleep with the person, the person will have that spirit of lust. And the person, and that man will be so frustrated, especially if the man is rich and he has wife and children. He will not think of the wife, but he will be spreading his money out to other girls outside. That is what Bolo Bucci is doing. Yes, man of God. Uh, you people should be careful with Bolo. This is problem. Uh huh. So that is how that one that one functions. So it's a music. Yes, yeah, a music, but that sing it to that God. That's the name of that God. Okay, that name is a name of their own God. Yes. They and sing it and worship by the God. Yes, and it's a chord also. Okay. Thank you. We have heard. Let's continue singing the song. One has to be very very careful. It's not only that song she's talking about. There are many people that sing. You believe that a gospel song is because they call the name of Jesus. That's what you believe, right? When you hear the name of Jesus, you know it's a gospel song. It is not all. It's not every song that mentions Jesus that is a gospel song. Today, there are gospel songs that are more better in the nightclub than in the church. If they play them in the nightclub, you will enjoy them. You see gospel music. You cannot differentiate between gospel music and worldly music. The same dressing, the same format. Now they are competing. Gospel artists now are dressing like worldly artists. They say it's fashion. Somebody wear big, big trousers like this. Wear big, big trousers like this. Carry it shed like a cricket. Hang it on top. Say it's what? It's fashion. Fashion will deal with you. Continue to fashion your life that way. They are competing. They are on social media. That is where they are, and that's where they're getting you. You can no more go to church. Your church is on social media. Ah. They are using emotions to control you. That is why every day we should be grateful for our mothers. Our mothers, they used to sing good gospel songs. When mama is preparing food, you hear songs that in fact, they have meaning. You can understand the message. You can feel that this is a song filled with the Holy Spirit. Today, those songs no longer exist because there is competition. Poverty has led everybody to become gospel artists and be competing with worldly artists. There are even worldly artists that comes in a while they sing gospel music. You dance it. They cross again, go and sing worldly music. You see, 
Dans it. If one is not prayerful, heaven will be too far from us. So you said you were singing. Were you an artist or what? You say you were playing keyboard and singing. I want to get something from there. Um, actually, my elder brother is a he's a keyboardist in our church. So he's uh, he taught me he was giving me some training on keyboard, so I could play keyboard, especially worship songs, and I can sing in church. I usually give worship in church. Okay, you were leading worship. Yes, man of God. You were able to raise their hands in worship. Yes, and sometimes when I give worship, sometimes people cry. People fall down. They cry. Yes, man. They of say, God. Oh, this this. Ah, ah, this girl is in, in the spirit. Ah, 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 this girl is gifted. That's how you people will be crying. Can you tell me? Can you explain your experience? When they cry, when you are giving worship and you're doing that in church, and you know in you that you are fulfilling duties somewhere, can you explain that to me? Actually, I um, was deceiving them so that they don't know that I'm this kind of, a, I'm a kind of a bad person. So I would deceive them like that. They will be crying. Yes, man of God. And I'll be laughing inside. You'll be laughing inside. Yes, man of God. <laughs> and when you go back home, you say worship today was powerful, right? You say one little girl sang today. All my sorrow left. You don't know that your sorrow left and then sorrow came back double. <laughs> so when you are in the church, don't call name of church. You hear what I'm saying? Just put it church. When you are in the church and you are doing that, are you not afraid that the power of God will arrest you? No man of God. Why? Because the believers, they, they are just playing with God anyhow. They are living a life of falsehood. I can see it. Okay. So, you have assessed them. Yes. I know who people who are true children of God and fake. So, so you could function their well because they are not true children of God. Yes, man of God. Even the pastor was under your legs. <laughs> okay, continue as testimony. <laughs> so that was how things happened, and it affected me so much in a way that if I don't drink blood, if I don't drink blood, or if I don't play with snakes, I will not be fine. Play with snakes? Yes, man of God. Madam, see the way you're looking at me. <laughs> How is the thing going? Go to mama. How far? <laughs> you are uh, surprised? I'm very surprised. But not too surprised because I noticed that she has changed. Okay, you are seeing changes? Yes, she, she completely changed. Okay, let's go back to her. Madam says she was getting some signals. So that created the awareness that there was a problem. Okay. So, can you tell us, how did you get your deliverance? Two weeks ago, two weeks ago on Saturday, my mom just told me that you'll be going to Nelcom. I was like, ha, huh? for what? She said, no, that she just go there. So, when I came, they said, I was already tired of the life I was living. So, I was already tired. So, I was like, okay, I will go. But when I came, they said the man of God is in Kenya. I was, I was sad. Before later on, I saw him again in front. I was like, thank God too. Then, not although they made the mass prayer, but I still went back. Then again on Thursday, I was in my mother's shop. I was helping her there. So, one of those girls appeared again. I was saying that I should follow her. I said, me, I'm not following me you again. I'm not following you again. I'm tired. So they said, if I don't come, they are waiting for me that if I don't come, they'll take my spirit away. So my mother came back. I explained it to her. From the way I looked at her, she was afraid. So on Friday, she took me to church that I should sleep there. So we were there. And on Saturday, she said, I'll be coming here again. I already know that Sunday was signs and wonder. I never wanted to tell her. So she said, you will still come again. In my heart, I was like, which kind of thing is this? So when I came and the man of God was praying, 
he was approaching me. So I had this anger. The anger he, when I was seeing him, I was, he, he was like he was irritating me. As I was just, I was very angry. Okay, that I'm irritating you. Yes, man of God. Okay, go ahead. So when you were when we were doing the mass prayer, I just saw myself here going back to my chair, to my seat. And later on, I saw you again. You were still praying for everybody. I was like, where? Me, I want to go me back to my house. So the man of God was approaching. Then one lady told me that I should put my placard out, um, up. I shouted at her and told her that she should leave me alone, that she came alone. So she should not put her mouth in my thing, in my matter. Then my placard was inside my back. I said, I will not put it out. I will not show it up. Then the man of God was approaching me. I was like, I want to go and ease myself, but I could not leave the chair. It's like something, it's like I was, I was stuck on the chair. You, you, you were gone? Yes, man of God. The chair magnet your Botox? Yes, man of God. <laughs> then the man of God now was approaching me. Then when I want to look at his eyes, it was like a, a sword that was piercing my eyes, so I could not really look directly inside his eyes. Mm. Mm -hmm. so he approached me and before he could reach my neighbor I could not withstand the fire that was around him and the light that was around him that was on him I could not withstand it so I wanted to run and go before something was something captured me I could not really run far before he was asking me that who I know before I saw myself on the floor and I woke up, I still had that anger in me. So one of the evangelists took me behind. When she took me behind, she was talking to me. I never even wanted to respond to her because that anger was still there. Before the man again, the, I asked her, would the man of God still pray again? They said uh, that he just prayed for prayer, not prayed. So when he was approaching me again, I wanted to hide my face before he touched me. It's like I would die. So I was trying to escape, but then later on, I saw myself on the floor. That's how I was delivered. Mm. You see how people come, you come here for, 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 to, for your freedom. You come and be insulting my oceans. That you came on your own, I came on my own. Don't tell me to remove the, this thing. Huh? So this is a message to us. Uh, when you are a worker and somebody talk to you like this, just know that there's a problem. Amen. Amen. You don't get irritated and start getting angry at the person. Just know that there is a problem. The grace is covering you at that time because that's a spiritual battle. Hallelujah. And then also, when you are a security at the gate there, like today, security is supposed to lock this gate and lock the other one. Nobody should jump out of the fence. I learned that a lady that was delivered here, they caught the lady on top of a bike, already running away. Last Sunday, they said they caught the lady somewhere. Am I speaking the thing? Somebody told me. Eh? They said they caught her climbing a bike to go. So, as you are here now like this, eh? security, you block everywhere. Everywhere is blocked until the job is done. It is not your will. It is the will of that spirit to take you back home. And sometimes, if this lady has shouted at the OSHA and the OSHA gets angry and says, Stand up and go out, she will just take advantage. That's all. She will go home. And today, blood will keep going again. Snakes will keep coming again. Problem will continue. And you say you are giving birth to her. You are waiting tomorrow that somebody should come and marry and, and give bride price. Marry who? Huh? So, since your deliverance, have you drunk blood again? That Sunday, one of the evangelists gave me the stickers so I could sleep on, put it under my pillow to, okay. to sleep on. So anytime I, when I went back, I told my mom, so they will not allow me to rest, sleep on that thing. Is that thing with you? Is that thing with you? So it was making me, it was making me, I was angry again. I was like, what is it? Must I sleep on it every day? So, but I still slept on it. And anytime I sleep on it, I don't drink. I don't drink blood again. When you sleep on the sticker? Yes, man of God. You did not like the sticker? No, man of God. It was worrying you? Yes, man of God. 
uh, uh, just a common paper like this. Just take it, be moving with it. You can show your friends. You see, it's worrying you. My uncle is not common, no. <laughs> Many of you have it now. Uh, it's just a paper. You can also go to a documentation and say, you should draw me and do this thing and give to you now. They will draw me, you take it and go. So this is how to maintain deliverance. When you come here and they say, take book. It's not advertisement, I'm telling you. That is truth. About, that's the gospel for you. That's why I'm a man of God and you are my followers. So that I can take and give to you. They will say, take book. You go home down there, they say they came there, they say you should buy book. How much did you give to toilet this book there? Huh? 500. And you complain. How much do you give to take a bottle of beer? Huh? I know you. Uh huh. Uh huh. The reason why you support me to collect these books, they only have to say, take it to go this way, take it because they know that you are too difficult to deal with. You have to support so that when they finish, I print more. My duty is to annoy them. I don't have a book company that I produce books. Are you with me? My duty is to anoint them. That's what I have. I have the anointing. These materials is a company. They go, they produce it. I take it now for anointing. That's what I do. So which means free. You are receiving them. Yet, you go back home and say, you came, they say you should get this book. But when they force you to take three man, you don't complain. Four man, you don't complain. Huh? So anything that is coming from me to you, Take it very serious. Are you with me? Anything that's coming from me to you, take it very serious. Don't play with it. That is what has been protecting her. Because if you look at the sister, you realize that most of her experience is in the spirit. You agree with me? She has more experience in the spirit than in the physical. So you will not expect her to be delivered today and everything just stop. No, the people will come, but that sticker is there to protect her. That sticker now is not God. That sticker is just a paper. The grace of God upon my life. That is the anointing of God. The Holy Spirit is now using that sticker as a point of contact to protect her. In the same way, I can still take your dress. You can remove your dress then give to me and I'll anoint it and give it back to you. The Holy Spirit now will use it to protect who? To protect you. I can do it. I know you cannot do it, but I can do it. Like the, like the Babana that is sitting there with a wonderful tie. I can take that tie and... Uh, Hey, Baba, anoint it. So that when you tie it, you behave like a bag of snake. Anointing is on it. You take it back home and uh, you'll be blessed. That's who a man of God is. A man of God is someone who is able to solve people's problems. I should be able to solve your problems using the name of who? The name of Jesus. Not my name, but the name of who? Let's hear from the mother. Just brief. Mama, you say you hear it for the first time. Mm -hmm. this man of God. The Lord is a shepherd. My name is Muban Kilasha Lord. The person next to me is my beautiful daughter, named Hilda. We are from Limbe. I, I just want to thank the God of our Father in the house. Who could do this to my child? and to our family because it is not just for her but for the family i i started noticing that she has changed about three years ago just as the man of god has said to be brief in lower seats i i gave her the school fees she went and ate it and i was asking for the receipt she was telling me they said they will they will so I went to the school myself. When I went there, they said, no, they issued a receipt, receipt immediately. When I came and she told me she has eaten it, I said, okay, you come back. If you can eat your school fees at this age, in this kind of class, then you don't want to go to school. She stayed at home for the whole first time. But again, I thought it, how will I do as a mother? I sent her back. She went, she was not concentrating. She goes to school, come back, even the time they were writing exams. I say, you know that you are new in this field. You just diverted to a commercial. You have to be hardworking. When I talk, she doesn't pick my height. At times, I will come and sit in the parlor with her just to 
forced her to... How can, you... she, how can she pick you a height? You are the daughter, she's her mother. Have you not heard what she has said? By that time, you are daughter. You are just a vessel that they used to bring her. She was already your mother. The thing she said, okay, can you go to the spirit and bring blood? Mm. <laughs> so know the children you give birth to is to bring them to God. If not, they will become troublesome. They will become a problem, a thorn in your flesh. Mm -hmm. So how was she delivered? I wasn't there. I just told her to come okay, to you just, church. Okay, just advise her to come here. Yes. Yeah. So she also had a, a problem, ovarian cyst. And we have gone to the hospitals many times. She even came here. That was the main issue. When she came now, it was beyond, just as I am hearing. She came and we saw just what we are seeing now, mm. that she was under the world. I didn't know that. Okay. But I just know that her character has changed. Uh, okay. um, when she came back from here, about three days, we were in the parlor in the morning, we were praying, morning devotion. And she just left and entered the toilet and called me to come. When I came, she was showing me her pants. She removed her pants and was showing me a thick cloth, blood that came out. And she was like afraid. I said, God has just healed you from that ovarian cyst. The, 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 the problem is that I, I, I forgot to snap. It was a thick cloth. Okay, after I, deliverance now. After deliverance. Blood came out. Yes, a thick cloth blood. And it, as it came out, so she has been telling me that uh, the stomach that something was working that she's not feeling it very anymore and so you agree with me that what i said here can happen to you as you are here security do your work if they to fight with them fight don't allow anyone go home as we're here one thing is clear I only counsel your heart to believe. But when it is time for the power of God to come upon you, you cannot understand. Even if you live here and go back home, it will continue at home. Are you with me? Because something has entered your body. That is what a living church is. Look, somebody is sitting in church, people are crying. You are crying to another spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You are crying. If a true man of God talk, can you cry? Because you are unable to identify original from fake. You are crying. Say this, this lady. Some people even watch her singing and people are falling. The, the lady, they can go even go and meet pastor and say, this one is my wife. Oh. This is my wife. I need, a Christi I need a Christian. I've suffered so much in the hands of women. I need Christian. This one has taken my heart. Hey. <laughs> the only thing that can make you good in the hands of the Holy Spirit is to undergo deliverance. Everyone need what? But not everyone is a deliverance pastor. Not everyone is a deliverance minister. There are people that lay hands on people and they manifest, but they are not called into delivering ministry. Are you with me? She has been doing it to ch churches. You go here, worship, go here, worship. Why did she not come here and escape? I am not hyping this place. I'm only telling you there are many living churches. Amen. There are many living churches. Look for a living church. Don't go to church to please a pastor. You see, as you are full here like this, from front to back, and those who are watching me, you are not doing it to please me. If I say do it and please me, the anointing will go away. He will just leave me and go and say, no, 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 no. Uh, Ah, chatim, chatim, chatim. That is not what I say you should do. Are you getting what I'm saying? You are here not to please me. You are, we are all here to worship God. I am available for God to use me. You are available for God to touch you. After the whole thing, you go home and I also go to my house. Amen. Amen. That is what should be going through your mind. At this moment, I'm not your friend, no. Tell a neighbor he's not my friend. I cannot hear you. At this moment, I'm not your friend, no. No. I am in a different world. For a different assignment. When I'm done with the assignment, we can be friends again. Amen. Amen. 
So please, this is for you mama to know that children that you give birth to, biologically, can be your mother spiritually. Control you. So what can you say about her deliverance? Hope you are happy now. Very happy, man of God. Um, actually very happy. We were here since on Friday in the church here. I, I okay. Just, you were staying here. I, she came here when she has been staying here for how many days? I, 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 we came here on Friday evening. Okay. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday we were here. I just want to thank God for everything. She's fine. She's very fine. For this one week since last week till today she'll be fine forever amen amen so you see you see why i was pleading on you my parents brothers sisters for us to fix this place the lady has been here for three days since deliverance she has been here that is how many people that are delivered here are supposed to remain but they cannot remain because there's no where to sleep there are some critical issues, like the woman that they caught that was delivered here. They said they caught her running away. The woman that was delivered here on Sunday with uh, the, the rings on the tongue and all what not. That kind is not supposed to go home. It also lock her here, take time and properly count because you need to undergo spiritual transformation. That one you can put her for rehabilitation. Rehabilitate her for one month, two months, three months. And then she can go back home and start a new life. But if you just deliver you today, tomorrow you are back in the quartier. Who is following you up? No way. That's why we have to fix this place to keep them, rehabilitate them, then they can go back. If possible, we can look for some small money and give them to go back and be doing something different from what because some of them fight themselves in this thing because of long throat. They just want to live a, a cheap life, drink beer, eat soya, smoke. That is a life. But because they have not found someone who can counsel them, who can love them, who can show them that there is another side of life. That's why they're going through what they're going through. If we can step up to help them, I mean, we'll create a future in their lives. Okay? So let us do something to help them. I don't know what it takes you, but let us go far to do something to help them. You must not come and show me. The house is here. Everything is here. When we are praying for people now, I'm going to the upper room. When I lay my hands on you and you are done, don't go and be going home. Move around and see the compound. Go around. It's your compound. Look at it and know what you can do. She could even remain here and be going to school. Till we observe and observe. Because these calls she's talking about is say branches here in Limbe. Branches in Boya. Branches like this bang branches. I don't want her to call names of call for security reasons. I don't want her to call names. But the call is here. It's in Boya. Our children are in Limbe. Our children are in Boya. Okay. So, madam, give us your advice, please. I just want to thank the man of God for the hospitality. We were fine. We were fed. We felt at home. I just want to thank the man of God and the church for all they did for us. For everything, even the deliverance. And I want to advise us, the parents, just as the man of God said, we should take our children to God because that is the only security. Thank you. Thank you. Clap for him. <laughs> Give us advice because we see how many people that admire hot, you say it's hot girls, right? Hot hit. Hot. Hot hit. Hot, hot hit. Okay. Ah, that's how the thing was saying. Yes, we see our people that admire the thing. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Someone to join the clubs. They think that it is a business group. Like many of you, today you are talking to a child. A child is only on smartphone. You see a small child with iPhone 13, iPhone 15. What are you doing with it? What are you doing with it? Is it a one to be learning fast? Huh? So please, give, give them advice. Man of God, um, even when I was there, I had powers in my tongue. I even, I had, I made a friend of mine. She offended me. I was very angry with her. And I made her, she, she got pregnant. And I made her to abort the child. Okay, you, you, you curse her. You, you spoke a word to her and it happened. 
Yes, man of God. You make her, you got pregnant. Yes, man of God. And you still make her to abort the child. Yes, man of God. So there was power in your tongue. Yes, man of God. Hmm. <laughs> she's delivered. That's why she's saying that. There's some of you like this. When woman lick tongue in front of you, 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 you are carried away. You don't know that that's power. You see, she has power in the tongue, which means if she says something, it will come to pass. Which means you need God to survive in this world. The way this world is going now, eh? if you are not prayerful, heaven is very far. Mm. So, how, where is the friend? Actually, she, I guess she has gone to school in Boya. Okay. Um, when it, when she made me angry, I because she said I'm a bad I'm a bad girl that I'm over living a, a worldly life. That thank God that I even feel so that I will not go to Boya. So when I heard, I was angry and I just said, she, since as she said that I'm a bad person, she should taste the life. So that was how she went to a boy and tested it yes and she got pregnant and she i made her she aborted the child but i want to thank god be, and she was expelled in church there was something she was not doing church again but i want to thank god after my deliverance she was she was brought back to restored her in church okay after her deliverance they call her back to church yes man of god just last week yes man of god clap for jesus christ Thank you for opening up that area. We would have gone home without knowing. There are some of you like this. Many, many people are here. When they touch you, it will set a lot of people also free. You understand what I'm saying? Many, many people too will also be set free. There is a lot going on. You see, you say, Boya, you say, Limbe, these towns are deep. You hear what I'm saying? These towns are what? They are deep. When you are moving, in these towns through dry leaves on your path because at any juncture you can be swallowed look at 19 years old this is a child to fight for her future and become someone if god did not come in what will become of her nothing so thank you advise the hot gate it says hot gate advise them um and i want to thank god because since i received the stickers my blood bank is dry there's no blood in it again we thank god we thank god that our blood bank is dry oh. <laughs> okay so give us advice because of time please because and now the edge is not there to for blood again i don't want to see blood again so i want to thank god and my advice to the youth is that it's not there's nothing in this world actually it is that destroying you but rather come to god and he will set you free thank you. just as i am free amen thank you god bless you let her wait for me i'm loving because sometimes when i drive past when I drive past, I see many of them. They're moving upside down. They're moving upside down. If a man of God was somebody that can appear in public, one day I just appear in Moliko and set the place on fire. But you cannot. You cannot. That's the thing. You see somebody moving up and down with a girl that she, they have whole hand of the girl like this, but the girl is having the, 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 the head of of uh, another creature a different head blood is coming out on this side and then you are moving with this girl living life in a danger zone and this thing of clubs they are there smartphones what pops up in your smartphone about god you don't read it you only focus on what pop up from club worldly music this artist collapse you check this artist has not collapsed again you check you don't have information Thank you, Jesus. Indeed, it's a response from a grateful heart. Uh, you did not you come Jesus. to see me. People come to church to see me. They see me, they're running away. Look, look at this one again. Why are you running? Let me follow her. 
People should allow her. We are going somewhere. You came to church to see me now. You are running away. Okay. Oh. That's why I don't like to come into your means. People that come say they are my friends. They are running away from me. Hmm? Another one, viewers. Another one. Two now. We now have two of them. Watch your screen. No! No, 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 no! No, no, no! No, no, no! No, no, no! Watch her, she's putting her, she's covering her face not to look at God. Seven apples to myself, just him. Are you? Oh, Who are you? Oh, you will destroy her for what? Okay. She will not pass. Why are you doing this to this lady? You don't want her to succeed? Why? Why are you doing this? You have been here for how long? She wants to help her mother. I will not accept. She wants to help her family. I will not accept. Who are you to say so? Go. Down she go. Down follow of Satan. Put your hands together for Master Jesus Christ. The Lord is our shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. My names are Hostensia. My names are Nyanga Hostensia. I live in Mutengene, Kwataroba. The girl beside me is my daughter, Precious. She was delivered last week among those who were delivered. So I want to thank God. People of God, help me to celebrate the grace of our, our Father in the house, Pastor Amaste Chatin. Okay. She was delivered for what? Uh, she was delivered of... Uh, she has been suffering for many sickness. She was okay. sick. She has always been sick for about three or four years now. If it, the thing has disturbed her a lot, her school life, she cannot go to, she go to school every day, she's sick. You, you hear, they will just come and tell you that she's at the hospital. No better. Just like that. She, when she go to school, they will just carry her and bring her back that she fell in school. We have been going to many hospitals to know her. They will go to hospitals that she's really sick. But the result will come out that nothing. She's not suffering of anything, but she's sick. They will discharge, discharge her. To, we will go to the house. So we have been struggling up and down, spending money. She was living but in Melon with my elder sister. After I've struggled until my sister was just crying that she don't know what to do again. If it is God that wants to call her, ah, she don't have anything to say. I said, no, God cannot call her. She will not die on turning. I'm under a powerful grace. Let them send her to me here in Mutengene and she'll come and school here. And she came here. She was coming here. She was very sick. I look, I look at her like that. I even cry. But I just say, why should I be crying? I will not cry. I know where I'll take you to. So we were opportune to come here last week on Sunday and we thank God. Apostle Marcel Chatton, this, she came and delivered. She came as she was praying to people, she met her and she, will not, she did not wonder they should attend to her, to her. But by the special grace of God, they locate her and they pray for her. As they pray for her, she receives her deliverance. So I thank God for Apostle Marcel Chatton, for God to use him to deliver her and my family. I thank God. Thank you. God bless you. You are a wonderful woman. Let's hear from the daughter. Daughter, how are you? I'm fine, man of God. You are fine. The Lord is my shepherd. 